Hello everyone, here's an e-bike holder I made for the back of my pickup truck. Uh, it's made out of uh, 2x4s and I used my 3D printer to uh, make some supports for the cross members just to hold it a little bit more secure. And uh, it seems to be working pretty well. It maximizes the amount of space I can use in the back of the truck. If you're interested in seeing how I made this, please stick around. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Here's the e-bike uh, rack that I made for my uh, F-150. It's made out of uh, 2x4s. Uh, they hold this specific type of e-bike, which is the Dost bike. And it splits in half right in uh, the center there. There's going to be a hinge there. Just wanted to show you the frame. And yeah, coming around to this end, the back of the tire is held in place that way. And uh, the front of the tire is held in place with uh, this little piece of wood right there. So it doesn't move um, in this direction. And uh, it holds the front tire at uh, almost a 90 degree angle. So that's beveled at about 22 degrees. And then the whole uh, back tire support is angled at uh, 10 degrees. So I'm going to paint this up and uh, put the hinge on, put it in the back of my F-150. And then for the supports uh, laterally, I'm going to ma made a clamp that goes on here. It's a 3D printed clamp that attaches to the um, rail for my tunnel cover. And I'll show you what that looks like once it's installed. So here's the completed setup. What I've done now is uh, given the base a paint job and then I added these cross members just to hold the bike secure. Um, they're, it doesn't move laterally at all and um, the way they're installed is there's an eye bolt on the bottom with a 3D printed uh, 3 8 inch um, hand tightening knob on the end and then this is just um, one by twos and it goes up to this little bracket here. I'll just show you the bracket on the other side. It goes right around the seat, uh, the saddle stem, and it's got uh, 3D printed um, knobs on here, so you can just undo this. This separates. I'll just show that to you. Take that apart here. And then this part comes out, and it protects. It's got a little rubber sleeve around it, and it protects uh, the um, stem from getting scratched up and holds everything secure. Um, normally I'd like to weld something in place, but uh, this is kind of a quick job because we're going camping and I wanted to put these in the back of the F-150. So this will all fit in perfectly. I'll show you a shot of that in a bit. Hope you like that.